Good morning and welcome to the Golf Bite Online product testing. This morning looking at the brand new 2012 Cobra range of driver. It's the new ZL Encore. Two different colours. You've got the all white, funky looking, obviously very very popular from the R11 range and the limited range in the S3 that Cobra did through 2011. And positive feedback from that so they've gone with two options. You've got the all white match it head cover complimentary if I bring it closer there you can see very all white grip everything white across the board and then they do the black and lime again although it's the darker finish it's still very funky looking <coughs> looking to obviously come with a new product that obviously stands out and is very unique and um, if we get the the heads out for you to see fantastic looking clubs. You've got the white with the carbon fibre bottom obviously looks very very good and then the the black head with the lime again it's a very very funky looking club there's nothing really like it looking as as good out there for looks wise and for you know new and exciting sort of looks what you've got, if I just put the white one away there, what you've got technology wise is you've still got the carbon, fi carbon fibre bottom and carbon fibre crown with the E9 face technology. Um, if I come in closer here, just to recap, the E9 face technology is basically off centre hit, so most golfers tend to hit the ball low in the heel or high in the toe so they've kind of made it more more this sort of shape the forgiving part of the club so off center hits will give you optimum distance what you've got in the lower lofts of this driver it's available from 8.5 degrees through to 11.5 8.5 9.5 come with the Matori F1 shaft slightly stronger than the F3 shaft that comes in the 10 and a half and 11 and a half so just different shaft options to complement the lofts. Obviously, if you're going to be looking to eight and a half, nine and a half, you're going to be looking to launch the ball slightly lower, and the F1 shaft will complement that. And obviously, vice versa with the F3 and the higher lofts. So it's going to be very, very forgiving. Obviously, great look, great shaft, great head design. Also, you've got the adjustable flight technology. So you've got the screw in there. And then you've got the different settings on the hosel and what they're going to give you is open, neutral or closed. So depending on how you want to shape the ball, you can adjust that accordingly. Let's give it a go. They've made it 5% bigger in the head. So it's 5% more forgiving. The E9 face technology is obviously more forgiving than off centre hits. And it's just generally you know, a newer, more powerful version of the original ZL. Great looking club at address, obviously the black with the line. If you can see the top edge of the Cobra head has even got the matching line with the Cobra right in. And the white one has got it in the silver. So all the way through, just little things, little tweaks, just to make it look very, very good. Nice looking club at address. Does look slightly bigger than the original ZL, so obviously you've got the more, more forgiveness there. Nice solid feel off impact. Obviously got the composite te uh, technology so it will launch the ball quite high. Very, very forgiving. Nice looking club. Very, very nice sound. They've changed it so it, it doesn't sound as loud and as tinny as previous models. So it sounds very, very stable at impact. And it, it really is a top end club. Again, mid to high launch, we've got a nine and a half stiff here, so obviously if you're looking to hit the ball high, a little bit more forgiveness, then instead of the F1, the F3 shaft's gonna be in there with a higher loft, so it's gonna launch it slightly higher. So very exciting new range. Both off the shelf as standard, white and black and lime versions. Any queries, please contact us at shop at golfbiotonline.com. Thank you very much for watching.